that's it. And of course, really, Stanley's never went for condensers, did they? 1916, it's too late then, wasn't it? It's gone. And I've always been told, correct me whether I'm right or wrong, because we've got two wonderful experts here, the Ian and Diana, um, that it was the self-starter that really brought an end to the uh, steam car. No more broken thumbs. Well, in my misspent youth, when I started my apprenticeship in 1953, I, I could start a big, heavy four-cylinder diesel on my own. I can't do it now. Lovely to see you. And are you running any cars at the moment, Diana? Or are we... You should be here somewhere. You've lost him again, have you? He's having trouble with his gauge glass. That is the problem. They're too complicated. So it's uh, lovely to see you. Thank you for bringing them on Steve Corey. Well, there's the lovely uh, phone wagon. As I said, a three-ton phone originally supplied to Boots at Nottingham, and then various things happened to it. It was cut down, and uh, my good friend, the late Jim Calder, father of the lads there, and it was refurbished back into the three-ton wagon, as we can see. Maximum speed, 12 miles an hour, and. Uh, Fogans actually did some very interesting postcards of this, a coloured postcard with the boots livery. Lovely to see it, it's a photo of Sandbash. And then uh, the S4 series here in the livery of the Douglas Gasline Company. It always used to amuse me, the Gasline and Coke Company down in London. Um, seeing this machine. Uh, brings it over from the island every so often. And of course the little uh, icon up in the foster tractor, as we said, we know, certainly know in the 1920s, fosters put sets of parts together for future sales. 